A man can only be beaten in two ways, if he gives up or he dies. You absolutely have to have self-confidence in order to succeed. So what we have to do initially every single day is we have to develop that self-confidence. We have to forge that self-confidence. We have to make sure that that self-confidence is impenetrable to all the outside influ influences in our lives. The comfort zones, the fear that comes in, in, in creeps in our minds that inhibits us from achieving. You've got to have a positive attitude. Every single day you wake up, you have a choice. You can either be negative or positive. Which one do you think is going to enhance your life? Duh! Every single day you've got to devote yourself to respecting your body, respecting your mind, respecting your soul and your heart. You've got to exercise these things through good nutrition, great physical fitness, and you've got to PT your brain more than anything. You've got to read books, you've got to explore what's out there. Those are the things that are going to develop that core strength that you need for that self-confidence. You have to have motivation. It's a key component of your life. As long as you're motivated, you're going to be excited to learn, excited to do better, excited to work with others. You've got to set goals every single day of your life. You can't wander aimlessly around and expect to achieve anything. You have to wake up every day and know that you're living a righteous life. You're living with confidence. You're living the right way. Every single one of you understand the difference between right and wrong, period. I don't care if you think you don't know, you do know. You know when you're hurting another human being and you know you're hurting yourself. Living with integrity allows you to accept those truths in life. What is right and wrong and then that governs your actions. You live with honor. You have to live with integrity. You have to find a mentor in your life and you have to mentor others. You do not know everything. In fact, even if you are a 185 year old Buddhist monk on the top of the mountain levitating, you still don't know everything. Every single day is a day for us to learn. You have to push yourself. You have to explore the different ideas and concepts and knowledge that's out there. If you're not having fun what you're doing, you're wrong. You should be laughing every single day. When was the last time you had a pee in your pants laughter? When was the last time that your gut was splitting so hard and you were just cackling ah, because you were having so much fun in your life? That's what it's all about. The love for living. The love that's in your heart that comes out through the fun you have. The reality is we need people to help us achieve. We need a team. Starting with a swim buddy, your best friend. Starting with a mentor, somebody to teach you. Starting with your family. Starting with your friends, your peers. Starting with the team that you play on. Whatever it is, you have to have a team to succeed. You have to be committed to the team that you're on. You have to be committed in every single way you can imagine. In your heart, every day you show up, where you look at the people that you're working with and you give them everything that is inside you. You have to have that commitment resonate in your actions, in your, in your speech, and the way you interact with people. Commitment is the number one mission behind having that, that team focus, that team drive, that team orientation towards success. You have to train hard every day. Because why? As a team, we have new personalities coming together. We have different types of ideas or mindset. So when you train, you rehearse, you put all that together, you fuse it together to where you can become focused, to where your natural intuition can start flowing freely through one and each, one and each other. All right, what did I just say to you? Negative, you can't read my mind. We're not there yet in this life, okay? We have to ascend to that next dimensional living, right? No, you have to communicate. I have to look at you in your face. You have to open your ears effectively, hear what I'm saying to you, and I have to be clear and precise on the way I'm delivering my message. All the things that we, we need, our self-confidence is brewing through our ability to interact with one another. That's what we have to do. You have to commit, you have to train, and you have to effectively communicate.